Hi, this is Soft Cell Video Productions and I'm your host John. In this segment we're going to review metal electrical boxes of all types and varieties. The main difference between metal and plastic boxes is that only metal boxes can be used in commercial and industrial applications. They can also be used for residential use but are usually only required around barbecues or masonry construction. A very important thing to remember is all metal boxes are required to be grounded with a ground screw or ground clip. Please make a note of this, I won't mention it again. Let's start with the basic single gang screw on box. This can be mounted to concrete, metal, or wood. It is compatible to be used with a box extension that comes in handy when wiring a recording studio or in masonry applications. Next, we see a cut-in or remodel box that is commonly used when adding outlets to a kitchen island or doing a commercial remodel job. Here we see a four square box with a single gang mud plate. This combination is used when a junction box is needed and the extra cubic inches allow for more wires to be pulled into the box. What we have here are called pancakes. We have a 3O and 4O shown and these are used to mount directly to a beam when location is critical and a beam prevents the use of a standard light box. And this is a standard 4O square screw-on light box. Next to it you see a box extension. And what are those good for? You guessed it recording studios, and masonry applications. This is a 6 inch recessed can used for new construction. They are mostly used in new homes, but because they are all metal, they can be used commercially as well. This is a 4 inch size and is commonly referred to as a mini can. This is a 6 inch remodel can for use in drywall. In some cases it can be used in drop ceilings, but I would check with local building codes before stocking up on these. This is the same kind of remodel can except it's the 4 inch or mini can variety. Let's move on to weatherproof. These boxes are surface mount only, come in 1 through 3 gang, and most importantly are receptive to half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch conduit fittings. They also come in a wide variety of access hole combinations. Here you see a box that is commonly used as a J box for wire as large as number six. It is a two gang, one inch receptive bell box. Boxes that are under code for wire fill or need a couple more conduit openings can be fitted with this little item, a weatherproof version of a box extension. This item here is a weatherproof switch that matches a single gang weatherproof box. This item is a bubble cover that also fits a single gang weatherproof box. If it's plastic, it's only good for residential. If you're installing an outlet on a commercial building, the cover has to be made of metal. Yes, they do make them in metal. Turning to surface mounted weatherproof light boxes, this is it. Whatever brand you select, the only thing you're going to find is a 4-0 round 5-hole light box. However, it does accommodate any fixture with a 4-inch or slightly larger footprint. Most notably, the double spot as shown in this kit. This is what it looks like when it's assembled. Of course, they also accommodate the standard motion detector spotlight kits. The last item I want to show you is the TV or cable access box. This is usually located just below the main panel and is an absolute must for cable and TV access and can also be very useful when pulling a new home run into the panel. It's bigger than it looks. It's actually about 5 by 8 inches and it's big enough for you to reach your arm in and grab an errant fish tape. That pretty much covers all the different types of metal boxes and with the exception of the remodel recessed cans, all are approved for commercial and industrial use. I hope you learned something new in this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.